but now I should be also able to upload this uh, upload a photo from my computer so um, how to how to fix this upload so uh, to fix this upload we need to add first an input of type uh, of type uh, file let's maybe add it uh, outside of this uh, grid I'll put it here and it will be type of file so we have it here uh, it's in Swedish but we will hide it anyway so it doesn't really matter the class name um, hidden so it's not visible now uh, I will grab it from here and now instead of this button that we have for upload I will change this to label and uh, this input I will just put it inside this label and now let's see if I hit the upload it opens uh, upload uh, window for my Mac and I can upload files all right uh, first I will also add a cursor pointer here so I will have this hand icon and uh, and now let's fix the uploading part so to upload a photo we have this uh, input of type file and now we need to define a function when something changes on this input type file we want to upload that file that uh, is inside this input so let's do here on change upload uh, upload photo just like this upload photo and now let's define this function here somewhere at the top and let's do function upload a photo and we will have an event here and this is important because inside this event we have a lot of important information like uh, inside the, um, this input we have files so how we can grab it first we go inside input uh, inside event we go to target and the target is actually the input and the files are inside that files so we can grab it like this and we can do const files equals equals event target files so I can do just console log and I can display files that are inside it so now let's maybe grab an image uh, this one I will just save it to my, my downloads and I can upload it let's go to downloads let's upload it and let's see inside console we get files which is files li file list and we have one file here uh, like this right so um, now we sh but it hasn't been uploaded we are just console logging this so uh, for upload I will use uh, we can use Axios but I think it will be uh, easier for me to use uh, fetch this time because uh, I know exactly how to send the files with fetch but um, well I think that uh, we can even do this with Axios that doesn't really matter so let's do Axios we were doing this with fetch many times in other tutorials this time we will do all react requests with Axios so let's do Axios and it will be post to slash upload and uh, then we will want to send some data data and our data let's define it here data will be actually new form data like this and to the form data we are going to sorry to our data we are going to set a file to be the first file from here so let's do just files zero um or maybe we can just upload all the files let's do files to be files and uh, maybe we can name it as photos yes and then we are doing a post request to slash upload with our data and uh, we want to add some uh, extra headers so let's do headers and um, for this headers let's do content type content type will be and here we'll put because we are using form data it's a multi-part form data and I think that's it so let's now make this async let's add a weight here or if you don't like async and await you can get rid of this async and await and you can here under after the post you can do that then and uh, then we have response and um, inside the response we have data so we can grab it so let's do const data from response like this 
maybe we can just do a console log data yes for now but this data let's say uh, this data will be a file name to our to our photo so maybe we can uh, just do uh, add the same way as we did it here so i will just copy copy this and this file name let's rename our data to file file name sorry and uh, now we need to fix this api endpoint so we can upload our photos as you can see we are sending this as a photos uh, form data element so index.js api let's see let's scroll to the bottom and let's add add app post sorry i will first remove this dear name console log app post slash upload just upload and uh, to do upload we are going to use uh, another package called malter or malter i don't know we are an add malter like this inside api now let's uh, require this so let's do const uh, malter equals uh, require malter and uh, here we get as always uh, arrow function with request and response arrow function like this so inside this function we define what should happen for this endpoint and uh, well first we want to upload stuff but for this upload we want to use our malter middleware so here before this uh, input let's define our upload functionality outside of this endpoint so uh, let's call it const and upload or maybe photos uh, photos middleware and equals it's malter function here and uh, we will just do destination to be uploads and just slash maybe here i don't know if this slash is even needed maybe we can just do uploads uh yes and then we have this photos middleware and we can just put it here as a second param and then arrow our arrow function response uh, function will be a third param so uh, let's put our photos middleware here but we cannot put it like this we need to also call it and as you can see we can call it as a single if it's uh, a single file or any non array let's see if we have multi uh no but we have array so let's call array and uh, we have two params here that we need to add the name the name is photos because as you remember from places page we are sending this data as photos and here we have files another thing is uh, here max count let's say that uh, maximum number of files will be 100. all right so uh, now let's try if we if this will actually work so if this will upload anything uh, then we will have actually info about this inside our request uh, about already uh, uploaded files so let's do maybe let's do response json with just uh, request files like this and now let's see if uh, something will happen i will just um, clear this for now let's uh, hit upload here and uh, let's see yeah i will upload this one so we get some kind of error on the upload let's see we are calling slash upload and on the response we get an empty empty parenthesis here empty empty array but maybe it's not files but instead it should be actually photos so let's try with this one i will refresh here and uh, let's see here we have upload let's do this one upload let's see upload preview and it's empty as well let's see maybe file upload maybe i will refresh first upload this file open and we don't have anything inside our response but we should have something here but it should be inside the request files so i will refresh once again and i will add this one upload and we get an empty array let's see if we get any error here 
nothing specific. Let's maybe try to console log it. Console log request files. Maybe we cannot just put it as the JSON. And I will refresh here and let's hit our upload button. This one upload and we get some kind of undefined here. Sorry, because it should be files, not file. Let's uh, refresh here, upload this photo and we have an empty brackets here. Maybe we actually need this slash here. So we'll try again. I will refresh here in my browser and let's see, upload this one, open, still empty array. Maybe it's wrong because we are sending this as file list. Uh, let's go back to places page and let's see, we are sending this file as file list, but let's change it to an array like this. Let's use this track to send it as an array. We are sending files. Mm, I don't know if this will work. It should be either string or blob. So uh, we need to loop through those files for file of uh, files. Let's do const file of files. Let's do photos and um, file, but uh, we want to add many photos. So uh, let's see, can we put an array here? Data, maybe we can do something like this. Photos and files. And then let's see if this will work. Yes, so let's do like this. And uh, yeah, sorry, one thing I forgot to send. No, we have this uh, data and uh, we have this uh, content type should be with capital T. Let's see, um, content type string. Now everything looks fine. So uh, let's try again. I will uh, refresh here and let's see, open, still an empty, um, still an empty parenthesis here. Let's see, we have photos and it says object file list. Maybe we need to add just multiple to this input type file that we forgot. Uh, so let's do multiple and this should work. Uh, I will try to add the download to files. So I will save this one as well. Save and now let's uh, refresh. Let's scroll to here. Let's select those two. Let's upload. And let's see how we are sending this upload. We are sending photos. And uh, yeah, I think now I have, I know what is the problem. We need to look through those files. Uh, let's see, photos. But instead of set, we need to do append. And uh, we need to append with each file. So now let's do four. And now uh, for, let's do for i loop. So let's do let i equals zero and uh, smaller than file's length, i++, plus plus, and let's put these photos here inside. So for the, let's append the, let's append the photos uh, with um, this uh, files uh, of uh, i. So here inside, we will have an array of files and we are appending for each file thanks to this loop. Now let's save it. Now let's reload it. Now let's upload two photos. Open, let's see, upload. We are sending photos as two. We are doing append, let's see, preview. And finally we get some meaningful uh, response. Right, so uh, let's see, index.js. And now it finally works. So for each file inside request files, we have uh, something like this. We have destination, file name and original file name. Let's see if we can open it. I will select, uh, I will take this uh, path name and let's try to open it here. And it just downloaded because uh, it, the, the extension was missing. We didn't have any WebP or anything else. So let's grab the extension and let's rename this file on our server. Because here inside uploads, you can see that those two files are without an extension. Those have uh, that JPEG and stuff, but those are without an extension. So uh, let's go back to index.js API and let's um, grab the path for each file uh, and let's rename each file. So let's do const uh, or sorry for, uh, for each loop. So for let equals uh, 
let i equal zero, i smaller than request files length and i plus plus and uh, let's do that const file info equals uh, request files of this uh, i counter and from this file info we can grab a path for this specific file so um, let's maybe just grab here path and then we can rename it so to rename files on the server we will require fs file system library require fs like this let's scroll to the bottom here fs rename sync and the old path be will be path and new path will be the same path that we have but i want to add this extension so let's do const new path equals old path but i want to add extension dot webp or dot jpeg so um how can i grab an extension um from the path no it's not in the path we don't have an extension but we have it inside original name so let's grab original name and then if we take original name and let's take it original name and we split it using a dot using a dot then we will have several parts divided by dots so let's do split and by dot and now we want to have the last part so let's do const uh, equals and here i will just do um here i can probably do dot 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 rest and then here extension can we do like this um now it looks like it will not work here so instead of this i will just do parts parts and then parts will be an array of every part of the string uh, but it will be divided by dots so in this example the first part will be this and the second part will be this uh, extension so our extension extension will be actually the last part so let's do parts parts length of minus one so the new path will be path plus dot uh, plus plus extension and uh, this way we can rename it from path to be new yes and uh, yes and this way we can add the new path to our request files or we can just uh, create an array of uploaded files somewhere here let's do it const uploaded files equals empty array and here for every renamed uh, file we can do uploaded files push so we can add and let's add here new path and here on the response json let's just respond with uploaded files now here i will uh, reload upload let's select those two images and now let's see we have upload slash and this webp image let's see if this will work enter yes it does um it returns with slash uploads maybe we don't want this maybe we want to have only the file name so i will do here um for new path i will replace it uh, uploads slash to just empty string and this way if when we add it to uploaded files array uh, it will be just file name so let's try again upload those two upload and we have just file names and uh, well now let's see if this uh, works out we have something here next to our um, upload button we have one image uh, but it looks weird let's see why because we have two images inside one entry let's go to places page and let's see inside our upload photo we are setting the data from the response as one item but it can be many images as you can see here we here we have two images so uh, let's say let's tell that this will be file names plural because this will be an array and because this is an array and we want to spread it here we add three dots right uh, now let's see if i hit um, upload let's pick those two open and we have those two yes so this uh, works nice uh, we want to fix the sizing of those images right so uh, let's 
get them to the grid of those uh, to those photos and i want to add the have for those photos so uh, maybe first i will reload here and even this button should be bigger so i will add have to be maybe 32 yeah something like this and then i will do the same for all those divs for photos class name have 32 right but now if i upload the uh, two photos let's see how this will look like uh didn't really work for this one let's see okay so it's this one and it has an image that is bigger so first we want to make this image centered so we want to pull it up a little bit so uh, to fix it i will first make this one flex yes then for the image inside as you can see the image shrinked in half and i want to take it uh, so it will take all the width so i will do width pull on the image but uh, let's see now now it takes all the width but it's stretched uh, it's uh, it's wider than it should be we should increase the half and um, how we can do this for this image we need to add the object fit of cover let's see object uh, cover so now it is stretched um I, I mean it's not stretched but it looks it looks better and now we want to make sure it's uh, uh, centered so as the position position center i think it works without this position center let's see i think it uh, just uh, works now maybe i will uh, download a photo that is 